Hi everyone, this is Sandy Reese with the Crew Stampers uh, Forum on StampaCrew.com and I wanted to welcome you to our May tutorial uh, workshops. We weren't able to meet in person this month so we're just doing one big online workshop. Several of you have already gotten your um, kits so if you would like a free kit of supplies um, all you have to do is place an order by tomorrow night. Uh, I'm going to give you the host code in a minute. Hi, Janet. Hi, Kat. Uh, Kathy's on. Yay. Um, I'm going to give it just a minute for, for everybody to get signed on. I'm hoping that um, we can meet again starting in June. We're going to try starting off with the new catalog launch party on June 6th. I think it's the first Saturday. The catalog goes live on the 3rd, which um, is kind of in the middle of the week. So uh, we're going to try and go for a Saturday. I've got three time slots. You can come uh, because we're only doing eight people. That's four per table. My tables are pretty big, so we'll be spaced out. You can come at 9, 10.30, or 1. Now, the 1 o'clock class is almost full. I only have one spot, one spot there left, but there is room in the others. Now, if you are sick or you've been, you feel like you've been exposed, um, you are welcome to get a kit to go. If you want it mailed, I can mail it to you. Or if you want to pick it up, you can pick it up from my front porch. Um, so anyway, there's lots of ways to participate. Uh, you're going to get the new catalog, a wish list, a little goodie, um, some projects. Whoops, my light just went out. Oh, that's my computer. Okay, well, we'll just make do with the, with the one light here. <laughs> I, done, I have too many things plugged in here, and I only have so many. I guess I need another, I need a power strip is what I need. Hopefully this will be, this will be good enough. I'm going to... Maybe scooch my other lamp a little bit closer since my spotlight went out. I think we'll be okay. All right, so anyway, catalog launch um, party coming. I already sent an email about that. New in color club, I've sent an email about that. I'm getting um, in the next couple of days, I'm going to get our product share um, promotion ready to go. So if you're interested in purchasing a product share from the new catalog, that's coming up. Um, we're gonna do, we, you know, I had you guys vote on Christmas in July or Christmas in August. Um, the last Saturday in July, I actually have a board meeting with the Girl Scout Council, um, but I didn't wanna wait until the end of August, so we're gonna go for August 1st. So it's Christmas in July slash August. <laughs> we're gonna do it right in between, um, so Saturday, August 1st, mark your calendars, because I can order the supplies in um, July, and then the catalog goes live in August, the holiday catalog. So I do need a little bit of time to get my supplies in and design some new projects for you guys. Um, so anyway, mark your calendars. Uh, we're going to hopefully be meeting in person uh, in June at regular workshops. I'll be contacting everybody in the next uh, week to double check on that. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about seeing everybody again. Okay, looks like we've got quite a few of you on. Yes, it is Christmas in August, although it's August 1st. So um, that'll be our transition, our transition point. Won't be at the end, it'll be at the beginning of August. Okay, I am going to give you a quick flip upside down. We are going to get started. So if you already have of supplies, you are welcome to create along with me. I will try not to speed too much. Um, if you have not placed an order yet and you would like to place an order and get the supplies uh, for free, this is the host code. You would go online to sandyreese.stampinup.net and you can shop all online, have it sh shipped directly to you. When you go to your cart, if you scroll down, there's a place to put a host code 
and this is the host code you would need to use. It's K3YKABKA. -A -A. Lots of K's in that one. So, um, do that by tomorrow night because I'm going to close out the workshop tomorrow night. Uh, we have some people who have already placed their orders and some of the items are um, on the retiring list so I want to make sure we get that in as soon as possible. Okay, so our first project, we, we kind of focused on masculine since uh, June is Father's Day, but these are not necessarily Father's Day cards. This is our first one. Now we know this was not everyone's favorite set, but I really liked it. Um, my husband likes to golf. Um, you know, you could easily, this paper's great because it's just plaids and argyle and... Um, it's a really, it's, it's golf themed on one side with like, here we go. Here's golf clubs, uh, little garf, golf carts, and then tees and golf balls on one side. And then the other side is just nice plaids and argyles and, um, you know, masculine type of papers. Now, if you want to recreate this and you didn't want to use the golf club, you are more than, you could use a good man. This is the set we're using on the other, um, the other projects, but you could put either one or all three of these images on here. It would still look very cute and masculine. But I went ahead um, and I'm using the golf guy because I, I like the golf guy, I don't know. I decided to go with that, um, and I stamped him. I did stamp pre-stamping ahead of time just to save a little time. Uh, let's move that over. He's in Knight of Navy, and then this is Garden Green that I stamped the words in, and then I stamped them again on a scrap piece of paper with um, Poppy Parade. All right, now I did not color um, this guy, and you could color him if you wanted. I thought I would color uh, the one that I make today so you could kind of see what it looked like. I'm going to go with Poppy Parade on the pants because you know when guys are out golfing, I'm just going to do my dark Poppy Parade kind of on the creases. Um, when guys are out golfing, you always see those crazy golf outfits that they wear. It's always bright colors and um, fun stuff like that. So I thought I would just go ahead and color his pants Poppy Parade and give him some nice bright red golf pants. And this is not Memento Ink. This is Knight of Navy, but it's still okay for, for coloring with our blends. I'm not getting too close. I'm not a good colorer. You guys should know that. I don't see very well, so that's my biggest problem, is just seeing. Okay, so we're going to try that with the Poppy Parade. I'm going to use, uh, this is Dark Smoky Slate. I'm just going to go over in the shoes with the Dark Smoky Slate. Not completely, just kind of the black part. Okay, and... I think I might use the light smoky slate on the the head of the golf club there. All right, I am going to try using mint macaron because if you look in this argyle, that lighter green kind of looks like mint to me. Um, so I'm going to use the dark mint, just kind of going over some of the little areas. It's a lot of He's got a wrinkly shirt. I don't know what's going on with that. I guess that shows that he's in motion. And then a little bit of lighter uh, mint macaron right here to color in his shirt. Okay. This looks like golf colors. All right, and then I'm going to go with a light petal pink for our skin tones. And you could use bronze or whatever color. Really, I just need it on his neck and his arms. I think that's the only place we have skin going through. 
I'm going to leave his gloves white because usually they're white. Uh, golf gloves are white. And then I'm just going to take a garden green marker and do his hat. Garden green. Since that's part of our card there. Cute. Alright, I feel like I did my, I missed a little bit here. Okay. Alright. So next we're just going to grab our snail and adhere this to the green, garden green cardstock panel. And we'll do that part last. So I have my green cardstock and I just cut it in half lengthwise so it's it, it's a bottom open. And I have two pieces of Whisper White. They're the same size. So I'm going to just take one and put it on the inside. Because it's, it's a dark cardstock, so you want to add a white piece on the inside. And then the next one I'm going to put it on the front. And this is four and a quarter, or four by five and a quarter. All right. So then I'm going to. You could leave these up if you wanted. I would do it like this. If you want it more golfy looking, you could put your, you know, your different ones there, or you could flip this. You know, whatever you like. I don't know. It depends. I kind of like these these patterns right here. And since that's how I colored, you kind of go along with it. I'm just gonna. I'm just going to leave it. These are pretty busy. Alright, we're going to put green down at the bottom. So I want to make sure that I have the same border on all three sides. Alright, we're going to put this plaid on the top. Make sure we have this kind of the same amount of border. And then hopefully, I'm just going to lay that down lightly that will fit right in there. That was kind of living dangerously, I feel like. <laughs> because what if that didn't fit? I would have had to pull that up. I'm just trying to see if I can get my sides as even as possible. Let me flip this over. Okay. There we go. I'm going to pop this up with some little mini dimensionals is what I have out right now. Stick one in the middle. And I'll pause for a minute uh, before we start the next one in case you're in case you're creating with me. I tend to be Speedy Gonzalez here. Alright, just kind of center that. Then we're gonna take our little poppy piece and I'm going to cut it out. I'm leaving just a teeny bit of white around the edge. Okay. Cut this out. I love this poppy parade color. Alright. All right, that's not too much cutting. That's nice and quick cutting. All right, I'm gonna use a couple mini dimensionals. This says, you're the greatest guy by par. Par is a golfing term if you, if you don't know what that means. That one I did know. All right, and then we have these little wood elements that come in this suite. So this is a little golf tee. And one side is a little lighter, one side's a little darker. I like the darker side showing. So I'm going to just use, you could use a glue dot. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of just liquid glue here. Just a teeny a thin bit. So I don't want it to eat, like squeeze out. And then I'm just going to slide it under here. I'm going to lift that up and 
slide it in. All right, there's our two cards. I like it colored. It's 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 more colorful. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> okay, so for those following along, go ahead and um, give me a little thumbs up if you're ready to go to the next the next card. I'm just kind of looking um, to see if there's any comments. What time for Christmas in August? It will mm, be uh, starting at 10 a.m. on the 1st. We'll set up the night before and then Christmas in August will start at 10 a.m. So, all right. Do we have some thumbs up? You guys give me a thumbs up if you're ready for the next project. thumbs up or send me a little heart or whatever you need to do. If you can do that, give me a like. Okay, I can't see. Didn't have color instructions, so I'm hunting. Yeah, we didn't, I did, um, I did not color or give you blends colors. So this is Poppy Parade. Mint macaroon or macaron. I used a little garden green marker for here. Uh, light smoky slate, dark smoky slate for the shoe, and then um, light petal pink for the skin tone. So if you want to go back in color, you can go back in color using those marker colors. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead to the next one. These are really quick and simple today. Um, let's see. And there, I did upload the PDF right before we started so that um, you guys would have that. So you can, it's in the file section or it's right below this post. So you can go back and print those out if you want. All right, so this is our next one. Um, I'm going to be honest, I love this designer paper, the Sail Away designer paper. I think it's called Sail Away, Come Sail Away. Um, I think it's so cool and it goes really nice using the um, a good man stamp set. This is perfect for Father's Day or just for, you know, just a masculine set. Um, the, the dad with the little uh, boy right here, a dad with the little girl right there, um, and then just this one, dad relaxing, or your husband or whoever relaxing, or your son, it would be cute. Um, so there's a lot of different sayings. I'm just going to do relax your way on this card because it's got, he's sitting in a little beach chair. And this is, um, what's the color of this? It's Seaside Spray. I knew it was something C. Seaside Spray. So that's the, the card. It's just Seaside Spray. I put my, my marker colors there so I'd remember. Um, I'm going to bring in right here. Now, we had different designer papers that went out. So I this is my kit. I had this one. It's Lighthouses on one side, uh, Stripes on the other. Then we have, if you can see, there you can kind of see that one. I use the, um, I think it's High Seas 3D embossing folder that gives, you know, puts the waves on there. So I'm just gonna glue this. It's four by five and a quarter, so it's just slightly smaller than the card front. And I think the measurements are on the PDF. All right, so we're just going to adhere our, um, our ocean to the front of our card. Then we have whatever um, pattern of designer paper you have. Got a little strip of this, and we're going to attach this to the strip of the Knight of Navy cardstock. And it's the same height. So it's going to be flush on the top and the bottom, and then have a little border on either side. And then we're just gonna stick this right onto the card front. And it will be 
flush on the top and the bottom with the wave pattern. So it won't go all the way to the edge, it's just to the edges of the wave um, panel. And then we have a stitch circle. We have our little guy um, stamped on there. And then on this one, it's Relax Your Way. You can, if you look at my sample, I just left it um, straight on the edges. But if you want, you can just flag the end of the words. And if you wanted to just put, if you wanted to stamp hello or something else, you could do that too. All right, so next we're just gonna color very quick and easy. I'm gonna go back with my light petal pink again and do the skin tone. I don't, I don't do too much shading on this skin tone, although he's got his hat. I'm gonna put a little dark petal pink where his hat is shading his body. Maybe I'll do it on the inside of the knees, up by the pants. He's got a little shade back here. Okay, where's foot is? Why not? All right. So we've done a little shading. Color them in. All right. That's it for skin tone. Then I took the um, light and dark seaside spray. And I think I did his shirt in the light seaside spray. I didn't I didn't really even do any shading on this shirt. I just colored it with the light seaside spray. If you want you could go over some of those creases a little bit one more time. Okay. And then I'm going to take his, the dark seaside spray. I'm going to do his hat band, his hat. He's going to be a stylish, stylish, stylish beach goer. And then I took the light night of navy. You can, and you can use whatever colors you have. You don't have to use these. And I just did his pants, his, his little rolled up pants here. I got this weird thing. I don't know if it's shirt or pants. I'm going to make it pants on, on this one. And maybe I'll do his little hat band with a little bit of darker blue. Alright. Next, I'm going to put some colorful stripes on the chair. So I did light grainy apple green. And we're just going to color his stripe there. I'm going to do... Maybe it's hard to tell where the stripes are going. And the stripes there, maybe the stripe right here. And then on the bottom, yeah, hard to tell. I'll do that one, and then right on the edge there. And then I'm gonna just do, oh, that's probably not a stripe, that's okay. <laughs> Whatever that was, I just colored it green. Sometimes you just gotta take a chance and go for it, right? Okay, and then I'm using dark crumb cake to do my uh, ground, do a little shadow on the ground. All right, quick coloring, quick, quick. Now you can either pop this up or you can adhere it flat to the card. I'm gonna just stick it down. Now you can make, I'm putting it right in the center of my strip. Make sure he's sitting pretty straight. Okay. And then we'll take a couple little mini dimensionals and pop up the words. You could do a bunch of these very quickly because it is just real simple and, and cute. And then in person, this gives it a lot of texture, the little seaside um, or the high tide embossing folder, which I think is retiring. So 
that is going out. This designer paper is retiring. Um, the stamps are not going out. So this is this set's going to be carried over for a little while. The golf set is retiring uh, along with the golf paper and the embellishment. So if you really like that set, make sure you get that. Okay. I flip that down. Okay. Stamp set from... Hannah doesn't have this set, so she had bought the pedal to the metal. But you could do, you know, if if you have any stamp set, you could, you know, use the same card and just do another image. You could even do a floral image if you want. Wouldn't look masculine, but you could do, Deanna, you just bought the, um, ordered the Trek set. You could do a motorcycle with another word there, or you could do um, something like that. Okay, are we ready to move on to the next one? Tammy's having internet trouble, sorry. Okay, so this is very quick and simple. All right, so then our last project is our 3D project, and this is my favorite today. This is, oh, it's come off, hold on a second. Hold on, my little string was on. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. So this is our 3D project. It's a little sardine tin that we've wrapped with coordinating designer paper. So I used the same paper that went with the card. So if you place an order today, you're going to get this kit um, and it will have coordinating paper. So whichever paper it is, it will be the same. All right. So, I'm going to tell you, I bought these sardine tins online. Let me get this stuff out of my way. I bought them online. I was actually going to use them for my daughter's wedding for Kim, my oldest. It was going to get married in September in Sweden. And I thought, how funny would that be, or how cute, to have Swedish fish uh, for a little wedding favor. So I ordered a hundred of these tins, and because of COVID-19, they have postponed their wedding to October, and then they had to move it um, to a domestic venue, so she's getting married in Houston. So our sweetest fish are not going to work for a Houston wedding. So I have a hundred of these tins. Now I've used about 25 for class. Um, for those of you who have placed orders, have already picked up your kits. Uh, Kathleen ordered 20 of them, so I do have some for sale if anybody would like to purchase them. They are a dollar each, which is what I paid, so I'm just selling them for cost. You get the lid and the tin um, for a dollar. And if you want to order 10 or you want to order 5, whatever, just let me know, um, and I would be happy to sell these for you. So I'm going to show you, because we don't have a mechanism to crimp the lid, I'm going to show you how we're going to close this. So this will fit six Swedish fish. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. All right, I'm going to give this to my husband, so it's okay if I touch them. Some of these fish will fit in straight. Sometimes they get too long and they don't. You know what? These look smaller than the last one. So you can put them in like this. You get eight Swedish fish in the class. I think I had done, these are actually fitting in really well. Before they were not fitting in and I was putting them at an angle. So if they're fitting in, I'll give you more than eight. So you're gonna just stick your Swedish fish in there and you can close this up two ways. Okay, one way is you can put four glue dots, so one, two, three, four glue dots right on the rim, and then press this down onto the rim. All right, I think this is the problem. It's a little bit full, so it doesn't want to close. That's better. All right, so that's way number one. That will probably be easiest. Or you can take Tombow and put a rim of Tombow 
all the way around, just a, a little line all the way around the edge. Let it dry for a minute, okay? Because you want it to be tacky, but you, you want it to come apart. Give it a minute to dry, and then you will just stick the lid on and hold it until that sets, okay? It will be held on, but you can still pry it open. I'm gonna go with the glue dot method for today, just because it's faster, I don't have to wait for it to dry. So I'm gonna take these glue dots, stick them right onto the rim. That's one and two. Here's three. And here's the last one that goes on this side. Okay. On your glue dots, when this is all used, just keep this wrapped around so that your glue dots don't come off. Okay, so if they're kind of sticking out. Can you see the glue dot? It's sticking out into that, so I'm just gonna fold it back on itself. So we'll only stick beyond the rim. All right. And look, look at the glue dots. They hold really well, so you only need four. And then you can, when someone goes, they don't really have to pull the tab, but then you can just pry it open and it's right there. How cute is this? I love these things. They were so cute. I was so excited when I found those. And it can close, see? Look, closes again. All right, so then of course the next thing we wanna do is decorate them really cute. So I took a strip of um, Knight of Navy and I'm going to flip this upside down and I want them to meet on the back. So I'm folding them around the tin. I'm gonna give it a little crease on the folds. I'm gonna take it off and then uh, Wherever I creased it, I'm going to give it a good burnish so I'll have nice, crisp, sharp lines on those four folds. All right, I'm going to put it back on and I'm just going to adhere it to itself. I'm not adhering it to the tin. So this can slide off. Let me get that. There we go. So this can actually slide out, All right? It's still tight, so it's not like gonna slide out by itself if I hold it, um, but it's on there nice and snug. Then we're gonna add whatever designer paper you have. We're gonna do the exact same thing. So we're gonna center it and then fold it around the navy, overlapping in the back. Pull that off. Give it a good uh, crease on those fold lines. Now you guys can come back, if I'm going too fast, you can come back and watch this again. We've done this type of thing before, so it's not hard. Um, but what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna put, I want this to stick to the blue. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of glue in the center on the front and then glue right here just stick it down to the navy and then a little glue right here to stick that down trying to get it so it's nice and even all right there we go okay so I've got a little bit of this twine. I'm gonna just wrap this around, going the long way. And tie this in a bow. And this bow, you're gonna be able to untie this. this you're gonna need to untie it to get it out, or you can just kind of unwrap it. But I'm just gonna tie it in a bow right on the edge of the designer paper on the front. 
And then you can trim the ends if you don't want them quite so long. I want that loop a little bit bigger. Why can't I pull it out? There we go. Okay. So we've got that done. Now, I used some dies from the... Um, where's the other dies? I have an anchor somewhere. That was not... I'm not seeing... I don't know what I've done with my anchor. Hold on. I do have an extra one in here. So these are the... Um, smooth sailing dies which go with the uh, sailing home stamp set these are both being carried over into the new catalog uh, but I love these dies it's got this fun label which is what I cut out of here and then it has um, it has a rope it has a ship's wheel it has um, the anchor some seaweed it's got a couple sailboats and the lighthouse. It's got a lot of things in there. So I just went with the anchor and I went the, with Sahara sand because some of the patterns in here have Sahara sand. All right, so on this one, I put being a good dad starts with being a good man uh, and stamped out a Knight of Navy because this is kind of a Father's Day themed project. Or one of the other words in there is, it's your day. And that could be for anybody. But I had this going this direction. So I thought I would do um, going this way on this project, since we did this one that way. So I'm going to need some dimensionals just to pop this on. Okay. I'm not attaching it to the string. It's going on, on, you know, the string will go right there in the center. So I'm just centering this here. And I did stamp it to the right because I'm going to pop this up. And I just didn't want it right on there. So this is going to pop up right here. I'm going to put my dimensionals on the center of my anchor just on the center. I put two small ones. Not over here, because that's going to overlap. And I only want it to stick to um, the designer paper. So, my dots are sticking to the designer paper. I don't want it to stick to the ribbon, or the metal, or the tag. And that is it. I mean, how quick and simple was that? Super cute. Um... I love this project. So just let me know if you want some of these, some of these tins. I have a box full. All right, don't forget, if you want to place an order, you get a free set of supplies to make all these cards. This is the host code. Um, you need to have your order in by tomorrow night. I will also be drawing uh, two names to earn host rewards. One, if we don't have, if we just have a little bit of host rewards, if they're bigger, uh, we'll draw two names. All right, I'm going to flip this up and see if you guys have any questions. Oh, where's my thing here? Okay. Let me see. Uh, are you ordering the sardine cans? The sardine cans I already have. Um, there was only like one or two left in stock when I ordered them. But I have a hundred. So if anybody would like to buy some, I'll probably hold on to maybe 15 or 20 to put in the craft show just because. Um, but I do have the rest of them, so they're a dollar each. Um, oh, Janet's kit didn't have an anchor either. Did I forget to put anchors in the kits? If so, let me know and I will send anchors. I have some anchors. You know, I have a, you know what? I have a lot of anchors. Maybe if I just got distracted halfway through making the kits and forgot to stick anchors in. <laughs> don't know what happened, but I'll save you an anchor. Sorry, Janet. If anybody else is missing an anchor, let me know. Okay, I'm just looking. Brenda wants 25, Patty wants 10. Okay, I, Catherine, sorry I didn't give you an anchor either. Ah! Okay. 
Elaine wants 10. Um, Kathy wants 20. Okay, let me see how many I have. We'll start out with 10 each, and then if, for those of you who want more, I will um, let you know. Um, okay, that is all I have for you today. Ooh, I'm close. Sorry. I'm going to move my arm so you can see me. It's, it's dropping. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Um, you're not understanding. Is this like our monthly club? Yes, this is like our monthly workshop. So since we couldn't meet in person this month, um, this is like the Thursday night at the church or the Saturday and when or the Monday morning at my house um, or sort of like, you know, the class we do in Kennett, which we usually do five projects in Kennett um, because we only meet every other month. So this is what this is like. So we're just doing it online. You get to see this the projects for free there's not a class for you to watch the video today um, but if you want just like in a regular workshop if you place an order your projects are free so if you place an order using using that host code you can either use the host code and place your order online on my website sandyreci.stampinup.net um, you can do it that way and have it shipped straight to you or you can call me with your order. You could drop off a check or you could give me a credit card and I'll just order it like I would normally order. Then when it comes in, I'll let you know when it arrives. So you can do either way. If your orders, it's gotta be at least $20 to get the free projects. So if you want to do that, Elaine says, okay, I want in. You can text me your order, Elaine, um, and I'll get that put in for you. Um, Yes, I will be very glad when we can meet in person. We're going to give it a try. Um, can we pay $10 and not order? Absolutely, Janet. If you guys want to or if Crystal or somebody else wants to pay $10 for the kit of supplies, you are welcome to do that as well. Just let me know. I do have several more kits that are cut, so I am prepared for you. And I will make sure the anchors are in the new ones. <laughs> For those of you who don't have anchors, let me know and I'll get them to you. Um, Brenda says she'll pay 10. Okay. Well, you guys, I'll make notes and then I'll text you all. Um, uh, text or email after I'm done. I'll make a list of who wants how many um, tins. And then if you want a, a kit, um, let me know. Or if you want to place an order, let me know. All right. I think... Rita says, really okay? Or did, she just texted me, so I don't know what she's refer if she's watching or if she's just texting randomly. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I think she's just texting me to something we were talking about earlier. All right. Um, call tomorrow. Okay. You guys can keep putting comments. I'm going to finish up, but I will... Um, I will uh, check the comments and respond to you, okay? All right, and Brenda, I have something for you as well. So, um, all right, that sounds good. I appreciate you guys stopping by. tomorrow. Next month, we're going to attempt to get back to normal. I'm working on um, my schedule. I have a really good um, class for the closer to the end of June, we're doing um, a, a bundle class, but it's using one of the really, really cute new adorable bundles. Um, so we're gonna use new projects and classes next month. We'll get to try new products um, at, the, um, <laughs> at the catalog launch party. I'm, I'm tired today. I already had one Facebook Live. Maybe I can't handle two. Anyway, um, oh, also the Mountain Air class, the last day to register for that is tomorrow. Um, I've got six projects, five cards, and a special bonus project um, for that one. So it's a little more pricey. The, the, the bundle is just a pricier bundle. But um, people had, had um, voted on that one, so that's what we went with. Um, they're masculine cards, but they're really beautiful. I sent on email with some sneak peeks um, earlier in the week. So 
tomorrow's the last day to sign up for that. All right, I think that's all the announcements I have for today. Um, stay tuned, I'll be getting the newsletter and some more information out soon. All right, I will talk to you all hopefully very soon, and um, we'll get back to you on your comments. All right, thanks guys. Love you, miss you. Um, can't wait to see you again soon. All right, bye-bye.